So oftentimes in architecture, we take inspiration from modern nature. What you see here is an image of uh, armadillo, which is a, which is an armored little piglet, basically. And what, what I was intrigued by the most looking at that image is, is its armor shell, and most importantly, its its uh, its tail and how the scales of that tail kind of overlap each other, uh, creating a very pleasing appearance visually. Um, of course, the first building that comes to mind that was already sort of done is, is that Sydney Opera House, which which has kind of a similar appearance to it. Um, also, Foster and Partners did a Scottish Exhibition Conference Center in Glasgow, and that very much resembles what, I, what I'm kind of intending to do in today's tutorial. So let's open up a new conceptual mass, and you can do that in a Revit architecture or project Vasari. I'm, I'm gonna do this in a project Vasari. Um, so the first thing we want we want to get started with is creating a reference uh, creating reference points on the on the plane on the vertical plane and let's switch to the right side first. Um, actually we don't have to we can stay in the So let's uh, hit set work plane, select the vertical plane. And now if we sort of drop three points and then select those three points and do spline through points, that'll kind of give us the first half of the spline that we need. And then we can kind of drag this point. And I'm interested in having it center like this. Now to create the other half of that spline, I'm just gonna hit double two M's, double M. That's sort of that's a shortcut for the mirror tool. Oops, it doesn't doesn't quite want to work. Well let's not worry about that. Let's just recreate it on the other side. So let's repeat the same procedure on the other side. It's not going to be perfect, but it doesn't have to be for the purpose of this tutorial. And just plan through points again. So once we have that, we want to select that spline and holding control, select the reference plane as well. Now hold the control again and kind of just drag it out. Now if we go to the front view, we have all these points. So what I want to do is kind of drag them off to the side and down a little bit. Kind of like that. Um, let's have that one kind of go up. Well, that's kind of what I want to have. Now let's select all of these, starting from the back, one by one and then create form. It kind of gives us the shape that we want it. Now if you select the both halves and hit divide the surface, it kind of gives us exactly what we want it. Um, I'm just going to isolate it. Uh, let's move on and create a new family. And we're going to use a current panel pattern base. And it's, I'm gonna make a simple panel to kind of resemble, uh, resemble that that scaled armor of the animal that I talked about before. Um, so we're gonna start with a rectangular pattern. Let's create a point. Let's set the work plane 
to the horizontal plane of each point and then drop the point right on top of it. And I'm going to hit set again and do this for all four points. Let's drag them out. Now if we select all four of those points, you probably notice on the, on the left hand side there is an offset parameter. If you add a parameter, I'll call this offset. And let's make it a pipe. So now all four of these points kind of move in, in the same direction. Uh, next we want to draw a reference line. And let's check 3D snapping. So let's, let's draw a line from point to point, sort of recreate. No, we don't want that plane yet there. Uh, the next step is to create two points hosted on those on those lines, and to assign a parameter to those. call it distance so now both of these points kind of move in the same spot and they're always going to be uh, perpendicular to each other so now let's draw another reference line connecting those so now select that line and the one if you, you have to tab around to kind of get the single line and hit create form and there should be yes uh, you want the plane now we want to select that line yet again and do the same thing selecting the plane now let's make this plane uh, sort of glass transparent and then the other one sort of solid can add a default material to it so here's our panel let's load it into the project and populate our form so it's regenerating it might take a, a little while so yes here we are it, it it's Turn around, it's 90 degrees off. Uh, so let's take the old grid rotation and put a 90 degree rotation on that grid to sort of make the make the panel go the other way. So here we are. It is not quite exactly what I wanted, but it's, it's pretty close. Uh, one thing we can do is actually go back to the panel, and if we select that point kind of just drag it out and drag the other one out and let's reload it and yes this is much better so here we are kind of creating the, the scales of an animal um, you can also use that very same panel for kind of different different application and um, one thing that I use that panel for is to create kind of shading family and apply it to, uh, to circles it creates a uh, very intriguing intriguing forms uh, for those of you know those are they're interested in playing around with those um, all right thank you for your attention